people online on Instagram that are faux influencers. They have about 2,000 followers. Mm -hmm. They get about 20 likes per post. But they're still they're this putting one it out chick, there. She's like, okay. Hi. I spend every single day trying to convince brilliant, smart, capable, creative, wonderful women to pull their phone out and share their gifts with the world, no matter who is watching. I don't want to call anybody out because then I'll be doing what this creator did in trashing women. I saw this video as well, and it was so gross. It was disgusting. But can I add a little spin to this? She, this first creator seems to be from my generation, Gen X, where we were taught to hate other women. We were so oppressed and the 90s culture of Kate Moss, heroin, runway skinny, the Victoria's Secret catalogs that were sent to our house every single week, the eating disorders that abounded among ourselves, our friends, in our hallways at school. I understand that these problems still exist, but in the era in which we were growing up, we were so oppressed and made the, the bar, the standard was so high of beauty that we learned how to eat each other alive. We fought with each other. We competed with each other for the very small amount of power that was available to us. And that's what I thought when I saw this first creator. In the last few years, what I recognized is when I would go into bars and go into the women's bathrooms, the girls and the women in those bathrooms are so nice to each other. I remember them complimenting my outfit, complimenting my makeup, hyping me up. And when I first started going at this point in my life, I started to realize that these women were very different from the women that I grew up with. The women that I grew up with, it was a lot of competition. It was a lot of putting other women down. But the women now today in 2023, because of your generation, and I'm speaking to this last creator, the second creator speaking, you women build each other up. You hype each other. You are the first to say together we are the most powerful. Look at the Barbie movie. So the Barbie movie and the message reflected in that movie is the women of today. But the women of this first creator's generation, the way the water that she swam in growing up, it was a very doggy dog, trash the next woman, competitive mentality. So just remember that when you're hearing women of our generation, we had a lot more, more oppression. We had a lot more unrealistic beauty standards to meet. And oftentimes this programming is so deeply embedded that we don't even recognize it when it's happening.